abandon different types of theories of uh, emergence and emergent properties, and many different concepts of emergence and emergent properties. And it is highly, one can highly you know, get lost or get confused by, uh, because many authors use the same you know, terms or concepts in different ways. So I thought that maybe some um, organizing or much like the presentation is okay. And um, here's the way I want to do it. Um, I would like to organize and think about um, the and the properties by referring um, by referring to the concept of the uh, relation of microdetermination. And we did a micro structural explanation. Right? So the, the title of my presentation is this, but you know, the topic is the question what type of explanation is used in the theory of the physical emergence. Right? The cash phrase emergence uh, is of course most known. The whole is more than the collection of its components. But when we try to specify in more details, we can get a different formulation. So let's look at some ontological interpretations of the relation of uh, emergence. I will refer to one of these three types of emergence. Um, the first one is specific value emergence. So we a weak type of emergence. It states that the whole and its parts and features of the same type of the difference of specific subtypes or value of that kind. And for exa example, given by Van Vliet, uh, is of bronze statue that has a mass which is different than the mass of its components. In value. Right, just in value. Um, in the case of the bronze statue, uh, the value is different in, you can say, additive way uh, in the sum of the mass of the molecules. But perhaps there are, there are the whole can have some, uh, some property uh, which is different in value in one additive way. So, for example, you can use a nonlinear equation to get the value of both. The second kind of emergence states that the whole has features that are different in kind from those of its parts. So examples are uh, uh, the, um, consciousness, life as a, uh, of, uh, life, uh, as a um, property of some language components of the base level, um, colors. So that would be um, that would be um, examples of one kind of emergence. And the third type of emergence is a different kind of emergence. We say that the whole has different of our goal is different in kind from those that are like sparse and be important of kind whose nature and existence is not modificated by the feature of its parts, the mode of existence and the low like So this B condition here is important because uh, using it we can, we can assume that in the first and second case there is an additional condition which states that um, the nature and existence, existence of, of parts of the whole necessitates necessitate, uh, the features of the whole.
you have the same number of words. Right? So for example, uh, if my brain generates my mental state and mental property, and we assume that the mental structure, the structure of the brain uh, wholly determines my, my, my mental properties. So if we will make a replica of the flow of my mind, my brain, it will keep the people have the same mental properties. Even if based in different environment. So this is a very general claim and can be specified further by saying what is meant by microstructure and how we determine the relevant microstructure. I will do it by putting the relation of microdetermination um, to the autological framework of uh, systems theory. Right? So for example, um, the CPSM model of the system, the whole economic advantage, uh, says that according to Very simple, very general uh, example of emergent, emergent microstructural experimentation. Why does the system S define the property of the mental uh, P? Right? So S is a system with an endostructure at the end. Every system with this endostructure has the emergent property P. And this is very general. Probably such a determination in this form does not occur in nature uh, because the mental properties um, are possessed with many uh, conditions. Global 
and to also its potentially is focused on something else. Right? So that the, the stimulation of certain neurons is not uh, sufficient always for, for us to feel pain because we can be so busy with something so false that we don't feel that we don't something happen to our life. Right? So, um, the second premise uh, is very general, but for the broad thought that uh, this, is, this premise is uh, empirically discovered emergent law of nature, which cannot be further uh, explained. Right? So we can only know this, we can, for example, uh, discover the central system, the central energy structure has a certain, certain uh, properties, and nothing more. And this would be a law of nature. We have to accept it. Thank you. 
defined by the structure of the drive. Right. So no mind, no atom outside, outside the body of the Because really, the, the, the kind of property 
that that's essentially already a question to make clear. As when you say microstructural explanation of a certain macro property, and at the beginning you made the distinction between three types of emergence. Yes. yes. Okay. I close the yeah. Question. yeah. Okay. But this that that if you succeed in a microstructural explanation of a macro property, then apparently that macro property is emergent in the second sense. You, the, the, the second sense of the three yes. you started with. It is not in the third sense, uh, but in, and also it's more complicated than the, than the first sense, so really it's the second sense. And that essentially, in my example, of the ideal gas was a typical example um, of a microstructural explanation of a, a, an emergent property, the IGL, the ideal gas law itself, is an emergent property uh, in the second, uh, apparently in the second sense.